No, 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 I don't like it. I don't want it. I don't think this is what I need. I wasn't talking about you. She, she wants a partner, doesn't she? She wants it really hard. And sometimes when you want something so bad, it's just, you're not going to get it. You can want something a little bit too hard, you know? Not in my eyeline. Oh, I kind of felt that. What the hell? A relief for you, I'm sure. Excuse me? We know she was gathering Excuse me? against you and had collected a lot of evidence about your abusive behavior. Enough to make you want to go snippety snip on her vocal cords. She's so teeny tiny <laughs> next to him. Couldn't hurt me. Yes, I would. I just don't want to rub salt in your wound. Well, obviously, I don't need to rub something else. But, uh, we'll only need to share. Ding dong. Them. What do you desire? Frankly, for this to be over with so I can go back to my photo shoot. She's okay. lost it already. Say truly desire. Truly. What do you truly desire? Is she having a stroke? I don't understand. It's gone already. What do you truly desire? Is this the way you people solve crimes? Hmm? What's happened? No one has it now? What is going on? Neil's alibi checked out. Remember Mario, Diane's vocal coach? Yes. Well, he called asking for an autograph. Turns out he's a hot tub high school fan. Oh. He wasn't entranced by my mojo. He was just starstruck. I've never had mojo. Oh. Not on me. I felt it. Sorry you're going through this, but we are going to figure this out together. As a team. So it only works on him though. This is okay. so weird. Right, I promise. It's the same thing as the other murder. Okay. This scene's a carbon copy of Diane's. Yeah. It's mad that she fun. died like that and not same with her head completely mark, down. Same binding technique, same cause of death. The flowers that we thought were Diane's, I mean this is his signature. Glitter's just an occupational hazard for medicine. Oh, no, she was a stripper. No, elementary school teacher. All the killer left behind was stuff he wanted us to buy. Right. Oh, no, well, she's a stripper. Lilies are pretty rare, so we can call local retailers, have them let us know of any sales in the last 24 hours. Well, this killer's M.O. is extremely unique. Slashing vocal cords. Why would anybody do that? He wants to take away that power. Is this Michael related, perhaps? He is struck twice in the same city. Yep, and he's picking up the pace. His cooling off period is shrinking. We're gonna catch him, Decker. Ella, why are you so optimistic all of a sudden? Well, I, I talked to Pete. Yeah, and he said to stop focusing on what I got wrong and instead focus on what I can still get right. So glad you found a good guy, Ella. Yeah, me too. Oh, great. The leads from the flower shops. Let's go follow up, shall we? I love the way she looks at him. Like, I love it. She's such a smitten kitten. Excuse me, do you use that ribbon on every bouquet? Yep. Grandma insists on it. Okay. Love you. Lucifer. So whoever the killer is, they've bought from this specific shop. Has to be our guy. My new friend, Javita, remembers the time he came in and that she saw him leaving an Uber. May's hitting it hard on the base, son. At least a man of deals stuck with her. Kind of trying to keep my mind off things here. This is about. This it. isn't about Eve. God, why does everyone keep thinking that? Actually, I was going to say your mother. So it is about Eve. I didn't realize how much she actually liked Eve. I knew she liked. Don't get me wrong, but I didn't think she was this into her. Is it more the idea of Eve than Eve herself? Yesterday, you were, what, trying to rekindle what we had? Everyone's rejected me, but I was the one who rejected you. I thought maybe that was a mistake. Maybe only an angel could love a soulless demon. You went to find your own path, and you did. Ever heard of a demon getting a soul? I can't say that I have. No one ever heard of an angel and a human having a baby before. 
or of the devil falling in love. If anyone is going to find what they're looking for, it's you, Masaki. He says the best things at the best times, and he's just the best. Just look at your ass, though. I know. I really like that scene. This feels like the shining. We're looking for a Les Klumsky. You know, we wouldn't have gotten this without you. I see what you're doing, Detective, and you can stop. You don't need to flatter me. And I think there's maybe something I need to sort out on my own. Okay, definitely the right place. Oh, uh, what is all that? Oh, they're syringes. That's what they he uses to knock them out. His next victim. When will Miss Lopez arrive exactly? She said they were close, so any minute now? They? I'm so sorry. We came straight from the convention. Uh. If there's any help, I can do the help. Um, oh. Great, yes, we're on the clock, so I'll take any help I can get. I think this Amazing cosplay. So just scour this place for any clues you can find, okay? Isn't he a reporter? Like, I don't think he should be there at the crime scene. He could potentially write anything he wants to. I am so, so sorry for the weirdest, darkest date ever. Are you kidding me? Why do I feel so suspicious of him? Holy cow, house. I think we found something. What'd you find? Check it out. I think I'm being too... Look at the wallpaper. And the carpet, does it ring, ring a, bell? a bell? She lives in this apartment building. On the ninth floor. Hello? The music's making me really nervous. Hey, uh, do you know this woman? Does she live here? He's gonna... He's gonna inject him. I fucking knew it. I knew it and it still made me jump. That won't work on Lucifer though, will it? No. Oh, it is working on him? Is that because Chloe's gonna be close? Mind you, drugs have worked on him before. Like with God Johnson, didn't it? Clearly very strong. Never was. Ignore what I just said, I was stupid. I never listen. They have to listen now. Oh, he's creepy. He hella creepy. Oh my god, Chloe, please. Please be safe. Listen. That was freaking cool. We did it. <sighs> It's like, we did it, Lucifer, and he's like paralyzed, thinking, what have I done? I can't even move. I just wish I didn't have to write about him. The killer? Wow, he looks really <sighs> cut up about it, actually. My already come up with a catchy nickname for him. She wants to call him the Whisper Killer. If I did anything wrong, just tell me. Wrong? On the contrary. It appears that you're doing everything right, at least when it comes to Miss Lopez. Besides, it appears that you empower each other. Yeah. You ever get the feeling you're not good enough for someone? For me, I'm terrified. But I just figured deciding if I'm Aww. good enough or not, that's not up to me. I mean, that's up to her. All I can do is open up and let her in, and then she can judge for herself. Okay, I'm going to give him a pass. I'm sorry that I was so suspicious of you. Just with them always saying, oh, he's so good, he's so good, he's so good. It was just like, it's weird that they would do that. But I think really they're just trying to use that as a parallel for Lucifer. Cocktails. Cocktails. I, I do love cocktails. I've not had cocktails in ages. Next several months. You know what I've been thinking. I'd love to Maybe know what okay you were thinking. I don't really have much of a life outside of Charlie right now. He really needs me, and being a dad is the only thing I need. And that's oh. not unhealthy. Is it? Absolutely no. not. No, of course not. By all means. It makes you even more precious. While it lasts. If you and I do a good job, Charlie's gonna need us less and less every day, you know? Okay, I'm off. Well, that's gonna scare Have him. Have a good night. I don't like that look, many deal. You got this. It's gonna be a long time until he grows up. I'm just going over this case. There's something about it that's bothering me. It's probably nothing. Well, I thought that maybe this could be our new normal. I mean, if, 
if you like it. Well, you were. I love that it. Drink. What's not to like about that? Especially. Are they all being domestic and stuff? It's a lovely evening outside. Because you're vulnerable around me, I sometimes forget how strong you are. How powerful. Feeling human. That bracelet. Feeling weak, having to rely on other people. It must be so hard, so scary for you. The fact that I can mojo you. Maybe it means that I've just put a tiny dent in the giant wall that you've erected around yourself. Perhaps for the first time ever, you're starting to open up to me to let me in. Which is a good thing, right? I think I may have dropped my guard. Well, that's okay. It doesn't mean you've got to put it back up. He's not going to think that, is he? I don't like this look in his eye. He usually has that before he messes up. Joking, Daniel. What are you doing? Sorry, I have to. Stop! No! Lucifer! Oh my god. He just. He just shot him, and Chloe was there. So Michael has been a little rat again, a little sneaky snake snake, whispered in Dan's ear, telling him to wipe out Lucifer. He's then gone and shot him whilst Chloe was right there. So obviously he's vulnerable. Props actually bleeding out right now. Okay, here's my prediction. So Chloe's right next to him. So obviously he's gonna be affected by it. So my prediction is that God is gonna step in now. Because I do believe that he's going to step in each time he needs help. Like the time in season one when Lucifer got shot by like, that like dodgy cop or whatever. And he asked him for a favour and he granted it. I believe it's going to be a similar situation to this maybe. Like he's going to say, uh, Dad, can I need a favour right now? I've been shot. And then God's going to come down realize what Michael has done as well. I know that God's gonna be in it. I know that he's gonna be in it. Maybe this is the, the moment that he enters. That's my guess. I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. So I enjoyed this episode. I wanna talk about a few things. First being Maze. Gosh, she's a good crier. Secondly, she seems convinced that not having a soul is gonna be like her undoing or whatever. And it's all she sort of craves as well. But like Amenadiel said, being the true angel that he is, is like, look, we never heard of an angel having a baby with a human and yeah, that happened. So there is a still a good chance that you could get your soul. We just don't know how yet. Uh, she doesn't seem confident at all with it, but I'm wondering if maybe Eve's gonna come back, question mark, and maybe give Maze uh, some some light again personally i don't feel as though she needs that but maze feels like she needs that right now so maybe eve needs to come back into it just to put that at her mind at rest and be like look that wasn't what i was craving all along it's more just the the idea of being with another person and finding that soul mate and it's more the soul that's weighing on her mind rather than the mate but i don't know Again, I could be completely far off there. No idea. I do wonder about Amenadiel now after that conversation with Linda as well, because he seems so content with the fact that, right, I am okay focusing on Charla because he needs me right now, so I'm gonna be here. But then as soon as Linda said, yeah, and then he grows up and then he doesn't need you anymore, that look in his eye was just pure panic and it makes me panic in turn because then he, like last time he did it, he was on about taking him back to the Silver City and it just, I don't know, it stresses me out. I'm wondering if he's gonna think like, oh, well then we can just have another baby, do you know? That could also be on his mind as well. So Michael's back, obviously we know that now, is is gone to Dan. But where is he during all this? Why is no one else sort of just, trying to find him at least and be like, just Michael piss off. Because Amenadiel knows he's around, Lucifer knows he's around, uh, Dan obviously knows he's around, Chloe knows he's around, Amaze. That's five people. I'm sure there's more as well. But like, surely that's a priority because he's such a pest. At least you'd think Amenadiel would be like, right, well, come on now. We're gonna go back to Silver City and say, dad, keep your eye on this one. It's been causing havoc. 
I don't know. I'm wondering as well, because I have watched um, the bonus episode with Ella now, and we've seen another sibling, and I'm wondering if she'll come back to it now, the Angel of Death. That could be a thing as well. We'll see. There's also the whole, like, this new guy whose name I can't remember right now, but the, like, Ella's fella. I don't know, just suspicious of him, because they were being really like, he's good, he's good, he's good. And it just seemed like a red flag. But then, obviously, Lucifer had that really nice chat with him at the end there, and I think it was a bit a bit too hasty, but mm, I don't know. I just got creepy vibes from him. Yeah, the conversation with Lucifer, he it, it did come across like a nice guy, so... Mm, I don't know. What else happened in this one? Obviously, I want to focus on Chloe and Lucifer stuff. The whole mojo thing just blew my mind because I thought, oh my god, she has actually got the gift now. Like, it did look as though it worked on that guy in the opera place and then it worked on Lucifer, obviously, in bed. But, turns out, it was only Lucifer and Chloe's thought system kind of makes sense. Like, he's dropping those walls and allowing himself to just really be him and open up up and that's why that mojo worked on him he is vulnerable around her so i don't know we'll have to wait and see i have to wait and see but i did enjoy it i, I enjoyed chloe having fun with it as well like you could see like oh my god oh my god i've got a gift i just thought it was really cute and more realistic because i'd be exactly the same like oh my god but although i would be a little bit more uh, extra than what chloe was i'd be testing it out on everyone <laughs> and then i would have got to the conclusion quicker in my defense because it wouldn't have worked on everyone. I thought that he should, she should have tested it on that young lad that plays World of Warcraft myself. I also want to say about Ella getting all like hyped over the whole Decker Star thing. Like she is the fandom. Like she's just me. <laughs> I just love her. And then everything obviously came full circle at the end there with the whole man shooting Lucifer and him being shot. I need to see the next one. I need to watch it. Thank you so much for watching this reaction, guys. If you enjoyed it, please give it a cheeky thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to. But as always, there's no pressure, but please know I appreciate you if you do. And I have extended and exclusive videos over on my Patreon, which really supports the channel here as well, keeps the content coming out. So if you want to say your thanks, head on over to Patreon and enjoy the content. Binge away, my friends. I also stream live on Twitch every Friday and every Saturday. All of my links to everything are on the screen right here, but yeah, the links are in the description below. All of my socials, etc., are on the screen right here, so check them out, but the links to these will be in the description of this video. So yeah, head on down there. And I hope to see you all again soon for the next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Much love to all my sponsors of this video, and I shall catch you all later. Bye. Thank you.